When you first time see Lexus UX200 driving by on the street, you think, yeah, this is the first time when I can finally understand Lexus design language. It's not too big, it's not too wide, it's not too aggressive. It's just a good looking vehicle. And since this is a new boy in town, let me introduce you the 2020 Lexus UX200. The price tag starts at 32,000 bucks and this is the newest offering for Lexus and this is the least expensive Lexus that you can buy. Finally, you can stand out from the crowd of inexpensive crossovers and SUVs and have a fancy Lexus badge on problem. And finally, I can justify the price tag, but this is a different story, okay? My name is Dennis, this is For Life Test Drive, show we? You know, I recently saw the stats. Most of our viewers, they like the videos, they watch them, but they never subscribe. Be kind. Be serious about it. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and watch the newest and coolest bikes and cars every single week as soon as they come out. Just be serious, shall we? You have three main selections when you're picking up your UX. They are available on the Lexus website. However, in my opinion, you can forget about F Sport and I'll explain why. This is CVT transmission, a low power, four cylinder engine. It shouldn't be F Sport, so it doesn't look like it's gonna go fast. Yes, they will tell you we have a tuned suspension, but the powertrain is not there. So why would you go with F Sport? The engine offers 169 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque and Lexus claims it's capable of doing 0 to 60 in 8.9 seconds. In reality it feels even slower than 9 seconds, but the turning radius they nail it, it's only 17 feet. Yes it's very nimble, yes it's easy to park and it would be perfect setup for daily parking situations in the city. I should show you the interior. They're making some serious progress. Get in and let's take it for a spin. When we first saw the new dash in Lexus LC500, we absolutely loved it. Circled speedo with large screen looks modern, to say the least. I can't stress enough those Frankenstein bolts need to be gone. It doesn't look good when you place the least needed switches to such a visible spot. Lexus, come on! On the other hand, the trackpad response got way better. They probably saw one of our reviews a few years back and realized this slot machine sound out of the trackpad wasn't a great idea. And they get rid of it and they did rework all the volume knobs, music controls, so now they absolutely nailed them. Very comfortable, right at your fingertips, very easy to use. Not a big deal. Only 10 colors for the interior and 10 colors for the exterior. Try to tell me you can't find the one that is gonna fit you. And I promise I will throw a pool party right next to your house Sunday night, probably right around 2 a.m. I mean, it's 10 colors for the inside and 10 colors for the outside. You can find the one, right? I do like styling of the seats. When you look at the interior without even knowing the brand, you can probably tell the difference with the less expensive vehicles in the market because those seats alone look quite good. Unfortunately, this is just looks. I wish they get more cushion because driving for a longer distance, you start feeling discomfort. Never ever trust Lexus when it comes to gas mileage. On average, we saw 30.6 miles per gallon, obviously lower than 29 city 37 highway they advertise. And when you think about refueling, it's got 12.4 gallons gas tank, and when it shows you zero, like absolutely nothing in the gas tank, you can still only put like 10 gallons. So it does give you a bit of panic in advance to avoid situations where you're gonna be running out of fuel. What is also interesting that you cannot get all-wheel drive unless you go with a hybrid version, which in my view for the CT setup would be a perfect idea. I think after doing car reviews for quite some time you can even notice the tone of the turn signal, I mean clicks. And it's a little bit different this year for Lexus. Am I going crazy? 
Same as before, Android Auto doesn't exist. Apple CarPlay, yeah! I think Toyota and Lexus promote Apple devices. Come on Lexus, no Android Auto in 2020 model year? Lexus Safety System Plus 2.0 includes pre-collision warning, backup camera with rear cross traffic alert and braking, blind spot monitors, rain sensing, windscreen wipers and auto dimming side mirrors. Absolutely love this big, wide, bright projection heads-up display where you can see your speedo RPMs, where you can see the data in terms of navigation. It's very focused to keep your eyes on the road. The only downside I found this camera that reads speed science, it doesn't really know yet what means truck or trailer speed limit so time to time driving on freeways you will find yourself seeing the speed limit which is actually for trucks and trailers just because the system cannot read yet what the speed sign is actually saying great lexus premium sound system it's actually really great when you play in some sort of instrumental music but it doesn't like electronic or dance music what you're gonna see after the first initial bass kick it just kind of fades out and it shouldn't be this way so play some guitar or maybe some violin and it's just gonna sound great but definitely not this this or this sorry guys lexus doesn't like you it's pretty standard set of safety features nowadays and we've seen only one failure when we were banking up nobody was there and it hit emergency brake the good news it works but the bad news is probably too sensitive to birds and bees I mean, it does not only justify the price tag, it also brings you something new and fresh into the class. Yeah, this is a new boy in town, but now Lexus is officially in the game. You like what you see? Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and watch the newest and coolest cars and bikes every single week. I think I already said that, but be serious about it, okay? Show you can. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell and we'll see you next week. And again, this is the first Lexus that I ever saw that can justify the price. Trucks always agree. <laughs>